Hey guys, welcome back. It's gonna be a peanut day. You'll kind of understand. I earlier just got through reviewing the uh, some I forgot the name of the damn juice, and I just had it. Uh, it's from 806 Vapes. It was their peanut butter and chocolate. Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Uh, now we're gonna be doing utterly awesome. It's a peanut butter milk stout, six percent by Mustang Brewing Company. It's part of their Unbridled series. Uh, it's a little expensive. Uh, six pack of cans was 15 bucks. I've already had one. Uh, it was a little colder than what I thought it should have been, so this one I uh, pulled out of the fridge and I ran it under hot water. And it's probably sitting um, upper 40s, somewhere around there. Uh, this is uh, out of Oklahoma City. This was canned 12 7 16, according to that. I'm busting out some glass where I haven't used in a while. Motherfucker already exploded. Uh, the one I had yesterday did the same thing too, so. It's the Canton Brewing Company. God, I got all this fucking beer off my hand. Uh, got this from Ethan from Ethan's Beer Reviews. Good dude. Uh, the reason I broke this out, he just hit 500 subs, so. Ethan, there's your thumbnail. Uh, I'll put his link below to his channel. He's going to get back into doing beer reviews. He he had a life happen, so. And this does make a, a lot of, a lot of head. And I will say, you can smell this immediately as soon as you crack it open. Alrighty. Mm. Now it smells like a lighter stout. Uh, like I said, it is 6%. Uh, it's not really lingering on the glass at all. It smells like a very light to medium roast. Um, this, in my opinion, would be something to uh, be like a session style, something you're going to sit down and have, you know, two or three of them. I'm getting a little bit of chocolate. The peanut is right up front and it, it disappears pretty quickly. This girl after open out of here. Make it look like I got a gigantic square nipple. Hmm. Alright. Let's top it up. Hmm. I'm getting the chocolatiness, but since it's warmed up. The, the peanut taste has really gone away. So this may need to be something you have, you know, especially cold. Mm. I mean, it's okay. Um, to me, it's sort of a letdown. Um, I mean, if you're going to put peanut butter milk stout, I'm getting more chocolate. Even when it was colder, I was getting uh, more of the chocolatey notes. But at least when it was colder, I was getting more peanut. So I'll work that in, you know, in the score and what I had it yesterday and today. Um, yesterday, right up front, it tasted like peanut butter. It didn't taste like a handful of peanuts. It didn't taste like artificial. Uh, it was sweet peanut butter, and it went into the milk chocolate. It had a medium mouthfeel. 
This one, the medium mouthfeel is still there, but it's yeah, it's just like a very slight chocolate stout. That's sweet. And it does give you like a like a Coca-Cola kind of carbonation burn. Eh, it's not too bad. Um, definitely have it cold. I will tell you that. Um, I'll give you two different scores then overall what I think it is. Um, cold, I'd, I'd say eight. Warm. Uh, six and a half. Uh, so overall, you're looking at about a seven and a half beer. So uh, I wish I could say it was better. I will not be getting it again for that price. Uh, it's just ridiculous for a six pack. Uh, they do have them four four pack bottles. Uh, no clue what the price was. Place I saw it locally, they don't have price tags on nothing. Uh, so that kind of tells you something, I guess. Uh, so there you go. Utterly awesome is utterly mediocre. Sorry, Mustang. I mean, I've been to your brewery a few times. Um, you're going to put peanut butter as the first two letters in this fucking thing. It better taste like I'm sucking Mr. Planters. I'm telling you, he better smack me in the fucking ass of that cane, have a little omnicle on, and just go to town. There's not enough peanut butter in this damn thing, so... Take it as you may, if you have it, or if you plan on getting it, you better slap that son of a bitch straight in the freezer and get that thing damn near crystallized before you pour it, because uh, I'm not getting much peanut butter, unless, just, unless this can just happens to be a pain in the ass. You know what? This is what we're going to do. All right, I'm going to go grab another one, fresh out the fridge, and if I change my mind, I'll do it here on camera. I'll have me a little drink, and I will decide. All right, one second. All righty, got another one fresh out the fridge. Once again, it's going to go everywhere. Only bad thing, well, at least it's creamy. I just wish it was creamy when Mr. Planters is giving it to me. Alright, I don't know why I'm coming up here and pouring this for you, but you know what? We're going to do it anyway. So that's about how I poured it yesterday, so that's the reason I poured it as rough as, rough as, as, rough as I did. Mm. Still not getting a whole lot of peanut out of it. I'm giving you guys the benefit benefit of the doubt here. I mean, it's I'm being I'm being nice. So as we wait for this, uh, just got through dropping a deposit on our new place. Um, Today is the 11th. She has all month to uh, finish sanding the floors, it's wood floors all throughout, uh, restain them, uh, varnish them. I do believe she's painting the walls of two or three different rooms, and honestly, they, they didn't look too bad. Uh, she's going to go with white and then dark gray on the trim. It has a garage. It's not as wide, um, so that means the car might not go in there as often. I think it might be a total of like eight inches narrower, which this one's kind of narrow as it is, so uh, we'll probably keep the car out, So which means I'll have more spot to do fucking beer reviews and shit in. Um, there's no lights in it. This at least has some fluorescence. I might get some uh, LED lighting in there. Uh, I don't believe it had any lights other than the uh, garage door opener. So, okay, let's hop into this one. There you go. There's that peanut. Mr. Planters and woke up. Yeah, you're going to have to have this sucker cold. Uh, unlike most stouts, when the flavor's coming through, 
when it's warmer, no. Nah. It ain't happening with this. So. Alrighty. Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna raise the score a little bit. I'll be I'll be nicer to you to you guys at Mustang. <coughs> um I'll go ahead and I'll I'll bump you up to an eight. Uh and that's that's being a little generous. I want peanut butter. I don't want special needs peanut butter where I gotta treat it just right. I gotta have it cold. Alright, you know, if I wanna get put some of this, slap it in the closet, it's cold in the closet. Um you know, grab one out and not even bother. Put it in the fridge. What's what I do with all my stouts that are in the closet. I, 1050, my KBS. Uh, I do believe I have another Christmas bomb sitting in there. You know, I want that extreme flavor. I'm gonna have it a little, little warmer. You know, sitting in the in the lower 60s. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, like I said, stay with, stay with the eight. So, there you go, guys. Utterly. Mediocre, utterly, utterly okay. I'll say that it's not mediocre anymore. The utterly okay. Peanut butter milk stout. Come on, guys, it must I hope you don't take offense to this. Good beer, just peanut butter. All right, that's like me saying, you know, I have A plus content on my channel. <laughs> <sighs> You're you're lucky to make it through summer school on this side of the on this side of the track. So, all right, guys, there you go. Got one more beer in there. That's what I paid for this six pack. I paid for one bottle, twelve ounce bottle. Uh, it's another peanut butter esque beer. So, I'm gonna take some Instagram pics and and um, go get that beer. And we'll be seeing you.